Hey everyone, this is username Evil Tag. I wanted to shoot a real quick video on um, the color Nook rooted to uh, CM7 Android. So it's not really a co uh, color Nook anymore. But I read that people said don't use the uh, live backgrounds on it because uh, it would hink it up. And I haven't overclocked this thing or anything, and it just maybe I'm just lucky. I don't know, but uh, these live backgrounds work amazing so if you if you, you can see that thing turning and then as you flip the page it kind of turns to the side a little bit depending on which way you do it so yeah live backgrounds work as far as I'm concerned they work really good um I, I did a video earlier in the week about the Nook and the Kindle apps and how I needed EPUB to read on the Android Nook app and Moby for the Kindle and they both work and then I got this Aldico bookshelf I think that's how it's pronounced and that thing works great and then I got three tweet apps to try out and Twitter is good TweetDeck is good TweetCaster yeah I don't really like that too much I'm gonna delete it um, it just uh, I think the guy that developed that he tweets a lot about his own app so you get um, you just get a lot of updates and tweets from him and it gets kind of annoying so oh and then I put a one of those days left things to the Harry Potter movie got one over here too and I put some music on it works really good and then um, but I just want to show the live background how good it works just a quick little video for people that are thinking about rooting their Nook color. That live background is uh, wicked good. Look, I got two new tweets. Tweetcaster. Uh, first upload, 84 minutes. Uh, okay. And I also have to say, you know, I've never messed with Android stuff. I've had, always had, I've, the closest thing I've had to smart devices is the um, oops is the um, iPhone 4 and iPhone 3G iPhone 3GS and while I like my iPhone a lot I'm really enjoying this uh, using this Nook because when somebody tweets or sends me an email I immediately get it like that through Wi-Fi um, of course I can't do 3G on this and on here if you have another app open and you're using it you're not going to get uh, an immediate push notification unless you're out of that app and I guess you could on some things but they say it runs in the background and um, I don't necessarily believe it I think 80 percent of the apps don't actually run in the background you're just putting them dormant so I don't know I like the iPhone don't get me wrong but I might have to get me one of those Android Evo phones and try that out because I'm really, really enjoying um, this CM7 gingerbread, I think it is. I think it's supposed to be gingerbread. And you can see how smooth it is. I mean, it's the background's not messing up. It works really good. Oh, and I got the... Um, quick pick too so I can look at photos that I have of um, just you know generic stuff that I've put on here I also have this gallery thing that brings up um, the gallery view so you've got oh yeah here's a picture of me there I am so everybody wants to know what I look like uh, let it clear up it's a big picture so it takes a second for it to that's what I look like there I am <laughs> with my Nikon D5100 yeah really enjoying this thing uh, 250 bucks for the um color nook 
and uh, I think it was seventeen dollars for the eight gig mini S uh, micro SD card, and then all the other stuff was free off the internet to turn this thing into CM7. So it's like having a little tablet um, for two hundred fifty, two hundred sixty-seven dollars. So check it out. Everyone, take care.